Imagine if there was no art in the world. How would we feel? How would we feel if we had no music, no dance, no literature, no painting, and no sculpture? It would be horrible. I can't even imagine how we could exist. Can you? But art doesn't have to be man-made. Think about a sunset or a lovely warm day with the clouds billowing in the soft wind. This is art, and it makes us feel good. Art is the soul of who we are. It's part of who we are as human beings. It separates us from animals. It's part of the fabric of being a human being. When we see a beautiful piece of art or listen to a beautiful concert, it makes us feel good. For me, creating a piece of sculpture is an emotional experience that opens all the doors of my very being. This creativity is hopefully transferred to you, my audience, so you are touched by it. Touched in an emotional way, a psychological way, even a physical way, my public art sculpture is free and available to everyone, no matter your artistic knowledge, socioeconomic background, or age. It is for the public. It's for you. It's for everyone. You can not only touch it, but interact with it, understand it, learn from it, and take pleasure from it any time, day or night, every day of the year. It's always there for you to enjoy, no matter who you are. If we were to go to the public garden, we'd see lots of kids patting my sculpture of the ducks, climbing on them, kissing them, hugging them, and pretend feeding them. Often I try to make my work teach a lesson. My sculpture of Make Way for Ducklings teaches a lesson about keeping promises. The tortoise and hare in Copley Square teaches a lesson, slow and steady wins the race. Eeyore and Pooh and Piglet at the Newton Free Library. There's a wonderful lesson to be learned from Eeyore who took his destroyed birthday presents and made them into something positive. He took the stick with the broken balloon and the empty honey pot and made a game of them. I am probably one of the luckiest people you've ever known because I have a profession that I love and continue to be able to do. Sculptures are lasting structures, physical entities that can actually be touched and interacted with for centuries to come. Those who know my sculpture, Make Way for Ducklings, often refer to me as the Duck Lady. Others may know of my eight-foot dragon in Dorchester and Naples, Florida. You may know me as the Dragon Lady. Because I had the idea and helped raise the funds for a 40,000-square-foot world-class skate park under the Zagan Bridge, you might have heard me refer to as the skateboard granny. As I said before, the world is one huge museum. You should explore it. My four kids call me mom, my 11 grandchildren call me nanny, and my friends, they all call me Nancy.